Now to a CBS2 investigation that we've spent years uncovering. Accused serial scammer Candace Clark had two choices this morning, accept a plea offer or go to trial. She chose to take her chances with a jury. CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker has been following Clark's schemes for more than two years and is here with a closer look at what happened today. Dorothy? All right, Jim and Marie, we learned two things today. First, details of the state's offer. Clark and her attorney discussed the plea offer yesterday, so when she showed up at the courthouse today, she knew the state wanted her to plead guilty on all six counts against her. Now, those charges include theft by deception and impersonating a state employee. The most serious charges involve her using forged documents to rent luxury homes in Lincoln Park and never paying any rent, more than $80,000. The state was recommending a four-and-a-half-year prison sentence for a guilty plea. I caught up with Clark as she walked into the courthouse. Have you been paying rent the last couple of Would years? Would you please move? How have you been making a living the last couple of years? Dorothy, could you please move? I don't feel well. Please. I'm literally about ready to throw up. Your attorney talked to you about the plea deal, though. Is that making you want to throw up? No, you make me want to throw up. Please leave me alone. So here's the deal. By rejecting the plea offer and taking her chances with her jury, if convicted, Clark could face up to seven years in prison for the most serious charge against her. And because she has a criminal background, the judge explained he could throw in another three years. Now, if you remember, Clark did not show up for court last week. She was in the hospital being tested for COVID. Today, her attorney told the judge she did test positive and is still recovering, but no one asked for proof. Clark's trial is scheduled to start April 18th. Jen Marie. Quite the back and forth between the two of you. Thank you so much, Dorothy. To hear that full story, you can watch our special Catching Candace Clark. It will be streaming on CBS News Chicago tonight, starting at 7.